Hey everyone, it's Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at Rigid's brushless 18 volt hybrid forced air propane heater. Model number R8604241B and this comes with the actual heater and a 15 foot long hose that has a regulator on it that's meant to be hooked up to larger portable propane tanks. Now if you live in a cold climate like I do, these heaters come in handy a lot. They're nice, small, compact, and easy to use. This one being hybrid, so it can run off of an extension cord or an 18 volt battery, makes it really awesome. So let's go over some quick specs. First, it has an electronic ignition, so it makes it easy to start. It has a power dial to adjust from 30,000 to 60,000 BTUs. The battery will last approximately seven hours on low, and a 20 pound propane tank will last approximately 12 hours on low. Now you kick this sucker up to high, she loves to eat propane. Now the fumes on this unit is not too bad, but this is not something that you're going to use in an enclosed space. It does produce carbon monoxide, so you're not gonna use it in your home. You're definitely not gonna use it in a very small space like a hunting blind or anything like that because it's way too hot. You're gonna need to find an area that's large enough like a garage and you're gonna have to give yourself some fresh air. Don't choke yourself out. I mean, you can die using these things. But in reality, if you're in a 24 by 24 garage, like the one I had at home, I can heat that up from approximately 40 degrees to 80 degrees in about 20 minutes. I can walk outside in that uh, air. It doesn't smell too bad. You can keep this unit running on low, crack a door a little bit to move some air, and you can work in there for a long time. Rigid has some actual specs on how much fresh air you need. Maybe that's something that you should read if you're gonna use this in enclosed spaces. Starting procedure on this is very simple. First, make sure you have a battery or an extension cord plugged in in the back. Make sure you have some propane going to it. Without propane, we won't make heat. Push your power button. That will start the fan and you'll hear some clicking. That's the electronic ignition. You push and hold the flame button for five seconds. That'll get the flame going. And there's a temperature in there, uh, a sensor that makes sure that the gas is going and make sure there's a flame so that it keeps the gas moving through. And then you can adjust your dial. You can adjust it from low up to high. There's a pretty significant difference in the amount of heat that comes out. I'm standing back about three feet at this point. On low, you can barely hear it. On high, it's not really loud, but you definitely know it's running in the background. To turn it off, very simple, just push the power button and it turns itself off and make sure you close the regulator on your tank. Now while you're using this, make sure that you have it pointed in a safe direction. The air that's coming out of this is very hot. We put a bumper in front of it about two feet away, started this unit up and let it run for 15 minutes. We were checking the internal temperatures in and around this unit. Inside we were seeing well over 500 degrees. After we shut this unit off, after 15 minutes, that bumper was over 200 degrees. So if you have it pointed towards something like a fuel cell or something that's plastic or a wall. I mean, you can burn things down, you can melt stuff. Be very, very careful with that. That's important. If you're using this unit outside, make sure that you don't have it pointed directly at some of your snow suits or anything like that. It will melt them. But it does throw off a lot of heat in a wide area and it really works nice. I think this is something that, you know, if you're out in construction, if you're outside in a trailer working on some side-by-sides or you're just generally outside and want to get a little more heat to feel more comfortable, this is it. Currently, you can buy these units for $129 at the Home Depot. Pretty fair for a nice, small, lightweight, and portable unit. You have to read the directions on this. You want to know what's hot and what's not while you're moving it around, especially after long-term use. But this has been a great addition to our shop as we can be mobile with heat, and that helps out a lot. We thank you for your time watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. Good luck if you buy this heater. I think you'll like it. Have a great day.